Good morning, good morning. Just getting things going here at the office again. Early morning start. Nice and dark outside still, but hey, it is what it is. Yesterday I got some of the flooring down. Didn't get a lot of video on it. My brother Marvin stopped by, and then uh, Bones' mom, Miss Bones, stopped by. A lot of talking going on, not a lot of video. Now when you're putting this floor down, you gotta use a, a glue. And so you put it down, you gotta let it flash. It's real pretty green. Anyway, just gonna get it going. Gotta get a little clean up, get some stuff out of the way, get some glue down, and get the chairs and stuff moved over to where the carpet's already laid. So now why it's taking time to flash, let's get a little bit tacky. So you don't have to do both sides, but what you do is you put it down, let it flash, which means it'll turn a little bit darker green. That way the tiles aren't sliding when you start to put things down. Right now I'm going to go ahead and move the chairs out of the way so I can lay it up faster. So with these carpet tiles, you can lay them up in different patterns. One of those patterns is just a straight pattern, meaning that you just follow the arrows they give you and everything continues to go straight, all the looping and everything. Well, I've chose to go for what they call their rounded. So what that does is it just changes the pattern throughout. It also keeps it from being where you can see the seams is easy. The convenience of these is if they start to stain up and stuff like that, you can just pull them up and replace them. So you don't have to do the entire carpet. So it's a huge money saver over time for a commercial area. Looks like it's starting to flash up, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more and then we'll get going on it. No. So getting along the edge here, what I'll do is I'll measure it, make sure the grain's running the right way. You wanna make sure you got what the, what's called the factory edge, the cleanest edge right against each other. Put the cut edge against the wall. Your baseboard will hide that, plus it'll give you a, a better matching up of the carpet. Morning back here at the office, working on the flooring still. So got all the main entry area laid up. That's behind me. Now it's time to put down some glue and uh, start doing the back area. Get working on scraping the floor a little bit more, sweep it up, get moving, putting this stuff down. <laughs> Well, today should be the last day of getting this place ready. Let's clean up, touch ups. Here we go. Over the 
past week, the old man has been working really hard on completing the build out for this office space that we're not going to be moving into. Walking in through this entryway, we had this really nice LVP and throughout the rest of the area, we had these industrial carpet tiles. On this half of the building is where we'll mainly be working with the customers. So we have four nice comfy chairs for everybody to sit in and our granite vendor just hooked us up with this really sweet table. This place isn't fully furnished yet, but the plan is to go ahead and get a TV mounted over here. That way, when we're working with the customers, we can just go ahead and project our screens from our computer up to that TV. And over on this other half of the building, we have what's going to be our office space. So as you can see, we already have some things hung up on the wall. The old man went ahead and put together all the desks for us. And now I'm busy setting up all the computers to make sure that everything is functional for us. And you can definitely tell that we're legit because we have a filing cabinet. Not a lot in there, but yeah. there's no reason to bring everything over from the last office yeah. that we don't need. For the last seven years, we've been running the business out of the home and we had a home office, but you know, a lot of businesses can run like that for many years. However, we've outgrown that. It was to the point where I was working in one room and Zach was on a little plastic table and you can see our high dollar chairs here. We bring our high dollar chairs back. Actually, we just haven't found what we liked yet, but that was Zach's chairs for the longest time. So yeah. <laughs> it's kind of nice having, being yeah. legit, huh? Yeah, it's pretty you nice. Know, so. The best thing is that you can leave work at work and bring home to home. So and that's mm -hmm. the biggest thing that we'll look forward to. So. Would you bring home to home or is home already home? Home might already be home, come <laughs> think of it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, with that, let's go ahead and do a quick little walkthrough. With the walkthrough now complete, that is a wrap for this video. So if you like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna follow along with this project as well as some of the other ones that we got going on, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.